This is Joe Biden claiming he didn't ask Obama to endorse him for president on 60 Minutes. While also taking the time to separate himself from his ex-boss. Obama's daughter, Malaya, has only been caught smoking weed and passing out a Lollapalooza. At the same time, Hunter has a two-decade head start. Uh, Side note, folks, uh, this is my impersonation of Barack Obama at his new Martha's Vineyard estate for Thanksgiving dinner. Obama says, Malaya, you barely touch your tofurkey. Malaya says, Daddy, how can you let me intern at Miramax for Harvey Weinstein? And Obama says, Michelle was your personal chaperone on the set of Girls, and that fat Jew couldn't pin down Michelle if he tried. (laughs) Have there been any uh, rumors about uh, Michelle Obama uh, running for president in 2020 against Trump? What would be your campaign slogan exactly? Obama's 5 o'clock shadow part 2! Again, back to Joe Biden. I don't want to steal his thunder. Joe Biden claiming he didn't ask Obama to endorse him for president on 60 Minutes. While also separating himself as best as he can. I romanticize commuting from Delaware to our nation's capital on Amtrak. Obama tags along with George Clooney on his speedboat along Lake Cuomo, a second banana. (laughs) Making Carmelo Anthony feel like extreme sloppy thirds. <laughs> Carmelo Anthony should be, this is not Joe Biden, this is me talking. Joe Biden, this is not Joe Biden talking, <laughs> just to clarify. I've always said this and I'll say it again. Carmelo Anthony should be the spokesperson for Tampox Tampons. Name another ex nba responsible for stopping so much flowage. Can I get a holla for an A-plus Carmelo Blast for the ages that never loses? It's almighty umpala. Must inject the podcast with more energy. Gotta be a podcast hero. Holla. So I can get paid as the face and voice of the dual data of my revolution and not be lumped together with other ordinary self-published Arthur Hacks and the Good Man Project Holla! Obama's Attorney General Susan Rice this is Biden again Obama's Attorney General Susan Rice should have got an Oscar for selling Benghazi the Benghazi debacle where our own U.S. ambassadors were dragged through the streets and, and murdered in uh, broad daylight. Again, Susan Rice should have got an Oscar for selling the Benghazi debacle as a result of an anti-Islam video. But just like Obama getting the Pulitzer Peace Prize for new gifting Iran and reducing ISIS to ISIL so they'd sound more starter friendly in the New York Times, what difference does it make? Can I get a holler? For Hillary Harrison Kanko callbacks that found the perfect place for him. All for your entertainment. Well, I continue to spoil you with more A plus jamming for free, but it's my pleasure to do because it's why I got them in this earth. Holla! Thank you very much. Again, this is Joe Biden. Look, I didn't ask Obama to endorse me for president because, frankly, he's jealous. And how much hotter my wife is than Michael. I mean, Michelle. <laughs> Come on. You don't want to inhale my wife from behind over Melania any day of the week? Melania can speak five different languages. Too bad America knows less about what her larynx sounds like than Jared Kushner. <laughs> I don't need Obama to endorse me for president of the United States. Biden adds. Was I the one caught sporting blackface at Halloween parties in college? Thinking I come across more progressively clownish <laughs> Obama, Obama the big O almond smoothie incarnate Obama can't be bothered to endorse me for president he's too busy producing 
social justice docs for Netflix and getting Michelle to star in a remake of the Tina Turner film, What's Talent Got to Do With It? <laughs> I don't need Obama's blessing to become the next president of the United States. I own wind farms in Texas, which gives me more eco-friendly credit back home on the reservation than Warren could ever claim Jack. <laughs> Were you watching any of the past Democratic debates? These days, Democrats running for president want less to do with Obama than a wall to keep them out of power. <laughs> Why wasn't, this is, uh, <laughs> hope you appreciated my uh, Biden impersonation monologue sounding exactly like me. <laughs> Guys, I'm flowing. Come on. I'm five minutes in. I won 10 minutes. I'm five minutes in. Well, I'm sure it was an accident, okay? And, okay, that's not my fault. We live in the hickey hinterlands in northern Westchester. Okay? C can you please let me finish? I love you. <laughs> so, uh, right there, folks. Apparently, uh, my daughter just beat the crap out of my younger brother. <laughs> uh, so, here we go. Watching her vicious right hook on a uh, power bag. Is that what you call it? Uh, it's a thing of beauty. So, here we go. Uh, I'm talking about Pelosi now. Why wasn't Pelosi notified about the attack on a man who called a caliphate against America? Because you can't even trust her to keep her clown lips shut about a pain raid at Al Franken's house? <laughs> President Trump ordered the hit on the leader of ISIS. He's dead now, yet Susan Rice claims our mission wasn't accomplished. Real witty, bitch. What's mission accomplished, Susan Rice? Obama's shadow government walking scot-free, you included? Can I get a holla for a fairy tale wish that's not going to happen? Holla! Justice is coming. Storm is around the corner. The rats are scurrying. Holla! Obama's going to lay up the smackdown like no other. Holla! You rattled up the bear. He doesn't fuck around. He had just quoted today. The chips fall where they may. Holla! It's about time. Holla! Joe lives, holla! Taking out the head of ISIS could galvanize ISIS, Brennan? Deep state talking point, Pence dispenser, please! All ISIS does is recruit new friendless suicide bombers on Facebook who wish their phones blow up. Can I get a holla? For old school premise, it, it's found another ideal place! To not impede my super divine power flow. Holla! The death of Abu Bakr al Baghdadi could galvanize ISIS. Let's not anger a bunch of rapist animal savages who respect imaginary red lines of morality less than Spielberg film retrospectives at the 92nd Street Y. <laughs> at least now Doug Stanhope can jump on the downplay. ISIS bandwagon and proclaim in his next stand-up comedy special for Netflix, I'm assuming. So we took out the head of ISIS. ISIS is still the CBA of terrorism. Sorry. <laughs> Anthony Mason dead scares me more than them. Can I get a holla for Anthony Mason lives? Holla! Gonna be a podcast hero. He's got stars in his eyes. Going to be a podcast hero. So, uh, this situation is my mom responding via text to a video showing our new adopted cat scurry behind our couch in her new home. It's my mom. I'm so happy for Matilda and your family. Translation, my firstborn identifies with sexless, isolated cat ladies on the Upper West Side. <laughs> who are not in the Writers Guild of America like Tina Fey. <laughs> Facebook has made baby boomers the laziest grandparent generation of all time. Lifting a finger is liking a new baby pic on Facebook. Getting dressed up for a Skype call is a horror show. Mom's coffee breath fogs up the computer screen as we speak. Dad's still sporting the same pair of ashy tennis slacks from 86. <laughs> After my third kid was born, my younger brother replaces his Facebook profile photo with a picture of him holding my newborn bundle of joy. I confront him later on the phone. 
You can't steal my weed, Adderall, and my life. <laughs> Besides, you're just trying to exploit my family-friendly mojo so you can attract more maternal muff and hide your eternally sketchy side from mom and dad, sir, snore a lot. <laughs> Was that too mean? Was that too divisive? See if I give a shit. Offer me a six-figure job. And I'll stop making uh, good cocaine struck the jokes, asshole. France is in high alert for revenge attacks because the U.S. took out the leader of ISIS. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Travel bans are racist, and America gave Trump a shot at ensuring we don't become France. My bad. The new face of ISIS has been appointed. Can't say I'm shocked knowing the war against terrorism is never ending as long as jihadists don't become abstinent. <laughs> Because conserving their energy for a thousand virgins in Allah's paradise becomes a thing. <laughs> New face of ISIS is appointed. That's pretty fast. What was qualifications exactly? Did he ace beheading one-on-one? -on -one? Did ISIS tout his perfect attendance record, claiming he never cut class to rape Christian villagers in Syria because Obama identifies as a fake news Christian? <laughs> Chrissy Teigen's face. She married to John Legend. I have a hard time remembering her name too. Chrissy Teigen's face has two looks, constipated and super scrunchy. Either one is pimple but ugly. Plus, her cramped teeth begging for Lucy Lou's gleam isn't doing her any favors. Last, her acting like a sloppy slut isn't a stretch. <laughs> Takes one to know one, bitch. <laughs> Russia doubts the attack on ISIS occurred. Drudge report. What gives you the idea Russia is down with ISIS life? Intent on allowing more suicide bombing attacks inside Mother Russia. Does Putin look like the hunch pushover Merkel type to you? Pat him a jack. Can I get a holla for the perfect 10 ending to gotta be a podcast hero holla. And I'll talk to you guys soon.